Tim McLean, co-founder of Quired.com, bringing you a new tech tip. In today's tutorial, I'm going to cover HTML and how you can use it to build a simple web page. You don't need anything other than a simple text editor, so go ahead and open up Notepad or Vi and let's dig in. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up your text editor. You can use any text editor that you want. I'm going to use Dreamweaver uh, because Dreamweaver has syntax highlighting and that will make it easier to separate our code from text and uh, hopefully make it easier to read in this video. Um, what I'm going to do is show you how to format HTML elements. So an HTML element is uh, a special syntax that is used to uh, format something, some content inside of your HTML document. So either text or an image or uh, you know make a hyperlink. There are different HTML tags or elements. Uh, the the term is kind of interchangeable um, to to do different things. So what you'll see is I've laid out a strong tag here, and uh, basically a strong tag is a normal tag, so it has an open and a closing tag. Uh, the syntax for that is you always open your tags with a less than sign, then you put the name, uh, which is regular text then you put a greater than sign. Your closing tag is exactly the same except that before the text you put a forward slash and that lets it know that you're closing that out. So as an example let's put some text in between. So then you put your elements in between there. So we're gonna put text in between here. Um, you can also nest tags inside of tags and uh, that's a little bit out of the scope of this video. This is a real basic video, but uh, let's go ahead and put some real simple text in here. This is bold text. And then also what I'll do is I'll put some text outside of here that says this is not bold text. Okay, and you'll, you'll notice that when we look at this in the browser, the browser renders the text in between the strong tags in bold and the text outside is not bold. So that's a real quick example but pretty much covers your basics of tag writing. The other types of tags that you have are uh, self-closing tags. Say we wanted to put a line break in there. Let's take a look at this in the browser. You'll see that where I put that line break we now have or that break tag we now have a line break in the browser so that helps out quite a bit I always this is not necessary but I always in my self-closing tags put a forward slash before the closing greater than symbol just so I can quickly and easily when I'm trying to debug my code find that but another valid way to write that is just you know you can open and close it as long as you know it's a self-closing tag Okay, um, one more thing to note about HTML tags. Most of them uh, you can add attributes to. And an attribute is a way to give some extra information to the browser. And it could, you can do this for different reasons. Sometimes for style, sometimes to give a unique identifier to the element if you just wanted to grab that with JavaScript. There are a ton of a diff different reasons, but usually it's formatting reasons. I will go through the syntax of that now, and let's actually use a style so we can see the difference. So basically I'm saying I want to add a style. I want to change it from the default. So I declare the name of the attribute, which is style. Then I say style equals, and then I encapsulate in quotes uh, what the values are. And you can use double quotes. So one, one at the beginning and one at the end. Or you can use single quotes. Single quote and then closing single quote. What you can't do is something like this. Single quote, double quote. That doesn't work. So, uh, and then if I wanted to make this blue, for instance, 
with this attribute, I would say change it to blue. And save it. Now we looked at in the browser, that text is blue, and this is still non bold and black. So that's a real basic rundown of how you lay out HTML elements. <laughs>